I'd like to talk to you now about another important tool that I use in my line of work, uh, being as I work outdoors. As uh, you may have picked up from my my first uh, video, that uh, I like in inexpensive tools. Um, that way, I don't need to worry about them when I am working. And I'd like to talk to you now about the Mirco Micro Micro Co. However, it is pronounced. It's a it's a wonderful tool. Uh, Blackie Collins designed it for the company, and they are very inexpensive, roughly thirty dollars. And uh, it's a wonderful uh, chopper. What I did was I redesigned the blade uh, for my purposes. Uh, I uh, involved in uh, survival, and uh, because of that, I put a Scandinavian grind down here near the hilt and uh, a convex edge all the way up. Uh, the, the end piece part up here of the, scan, the, of the uh, convex grind is uh, razor sharp and from, from here to here is a convex edge. It's not as sharp as up here and that is for my chopping. This is for slicing this part up here is for slicing, and the, the Scandinavian grind is for carving and for intricate work. The back of the spine, as you can see, it's very thick, and uh, I squared off the back of the spine so that I could get shavings and use similar to a draw knife and uh, get actual shavings. This also works very well when you're trying to strike or for sand rod. Uh, it works well for obtaining sparks. And uh, for batoning, it's wonderful. Uh, but the blade is heavy enough that actually you really do not need to baton it. Uh, you can just put your put the machete axe into the uh, into the log and use the weight of the log to have the blade go through. And uh, the handle is made of rubber, has uh, a D-guard to protect your knuckles. And uh, in a survival situation, you see how this gets much use. In a survival situation, that those little pieces of rubber could actually help in uh, getting, um, help maintain your fire by uh, keeping the flame burning a little bit longer in case your tinder is uh, damp and uh, needs more time to dry prior to actually going into your heavier woods. But this is a wonderful tool. As far as chopping, it's fantastic. I, I really highly recommend it. Uh, it's, it's classified as an axe machete. That's how it is advertised. And Blackie Collins designed it. And uh, I'm very pleased with it. I can't say enough about it. Maybe in the near future I will have a uh, demonstration of it uh, chopping. Uh, the blade did uh, get bent on me from doing some chopping during the very severe cold months. Uh, the, the trees that I was chopping were frozen and uh, this did not do well on that. But the more I chopped, it uh, seemed to take care of the, the bends on its own. Uh, it's not perfect but it's a lot worse than what it was. I mean, it was a lot better than what it was. It was uh, really bent out of shape pretty bad, but the more I used it, it seemed to straighten itself out. And uh, like I said, it, it, uh, it works very well. It maintains a, a sharp edge for quite some time. And uh, the sheath that it comes with uh, is a very strong nylon, uh, well, uh, oh, very hard to uh, protect. It does not give. Uh, it does not bend very easily. Therefore, it protects you as well as the blade. The pouch was added, and inside the pouch is my file that I use to sharpen uh, in the field. I use the file, and it works very well on on the blade. Uh, and I will show you that also, and maybe in an upcoming video. Uh, whenever when I do one for to show you the axe machete in progress.
Again, it's Mirko. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, forgive me if it's wrong, but there it is for you to look at. It's uh, very, very inexpensive. It is made in China, but all things considered, uh, I, uh, I am very pleased with it.